all, you've got to have a dream. So if you have a dream, then you've got to pursue it. So make sure you, you, know, you build a dream and then you go for your dreams. If you can go to a drama school, that is a bonus, that is amazing. And practice makes perfect. It's not all a glamour world out there and you do need to start from somewhere. And there are two ways in which you can start. Number one is you have to have a proper headshot if you want to get into it on a professional level. Make sure you get a nice photo shoot done. And also number two, you have to have a nice website, a site that you can trust. Get on the website, get yourself signed up and make sure you get yourself to be seen by hundreds of thousands of visitors around the world. You need a casting um, agent um, so you, or a personal agent or if you don't have any personal agent, uh, you do need to sign up with one of the online um, casting agencies or websites um, that do take on extras. If you can gain a skill, for example, swimming, if you can learn how to do rollerblading or if you can learn how to do biking or if you can drive a car, any of these extra skills will be beneficial in the future for you. It's like any other field that you're in. When you go and apply for a job, somebody can say to you, well, I'm sorry, we'll give you a call in about a week and no one gives you a call back and then you kind of assume that I wasn't a right person. And now that's just the way life is. I mean, if there's one person they need for a shoot and there's 300 people applying, someone will have to, you know, uh, get the part. It really has to do with the right character and the right look. So it's not because something is wrong with you. So do not take things to your heart. You could be asked to do either a day shoot or two day shoot or you could be asked to do a month or two month shoot even. For example, James Cameron's movie Titanic and I'm sure you guys have all seen it with Leonardo DiCaprio. Now, there was 150 extras in that movie and all of those extras were in the movie for the whole duration of the shoot, which I don't know, could be a month or two months long. And all these extras were in the movie, they were given very good um, extras minimum and they were in the whole movie. And also, sometimes you can even be called for a day or an hour, or two hours or five hours. It really all depends on the different costumes. Leonardo DiCaprio. He had started off in shows like Roseanne uh, and um, Parenthood and many other shows. Um, then there's Bruce Willis. Sean Penn, he was a child extra um, on The Little House on the Prairie. There's many other actors, uh, Sylvester Stallone, and I'm sure a lot of you have heard about him. Johnny Depp, I mean, one of the top highest owners uh, in Hollywood. Um, these were all guys who had started off somewhere as, as an extra or as a guest appearance. These days, we have something that we never had about 50 years ago, and that is access to the internet, access to the web. Watch videos of people who've done acting in the past. And I'm sure you watch a lot of movies, Hollywood movies or Bollywood films. Watch the movies, see how, what people are doing and how they're acting, how they're behaving, what they're doing. It's not an easy game. You have got to practice. You've got to carry on with the skill, keep on learning uh, new things. Get yourself out there and um, make sure you believe in yourself. And if there are people, who are discouraging you and telling you, look, you're too old, or you're too young, or you have a problem, or you have a crazy hairstyle. Don't listen to them. Follow your dreams, carry on with the dreams, believe in yourself, because if you don't believe in yourself, nobody else is going to believe you. So you've got to have a trust, go with the faith, carry on with the practices, know your special skills, and sign up with the right um, online um, agency.